Hello, hello everyone. Ben Pearson of Roadster Tracker, and we're gonna try out a uh, small indie game. It's still in early day development. I had some issues even installing it, so we'll, we'll talk about some of these issues. But it's a fun little prototype of a game, and I promised the author that I would at least record one episode. So here we go. He uh, gave me a key. He or she. Don't actually know. We're gonna play this. This is. Eh, we'll call it Roadster. Blank for random. Yeah, that's fine. It's a kind of crafting type of game, and I'm gonna hit F11. I think that'll fix the bars. Yeah. So we move around. We can mine rocks. I love the little bouncing things, even after you pick up the uh, things. It's a little silly touch, but yeah, it works. So the issue I had when I installed this is it had a kind of hidden dependency, at least for me. I don't know how this would work for you, but I do some development work, but I haven't done anything in a while. I had an old version of Visual Studio development software installed. When I installed the new version, it started to work. So I don't know exactly what happened. Uh, tin ore is not super required at the moment. We're just going to concentrate on picking up some stone. So we're going to get a stone workbench here. And we'll place this down. And then the stone workbench allows us to build a lot more things. Interestingly enough, you still use the same thing. We need some torches, which we don't have anything to build torches. Well, we can get a lot of plant material. That's easy. We still can't build the torches. Okay. So we'll pick up our workbench. I guess we need some wood, maybe. Let's put down our workbench here. And we can automatically switch to the better tools, which we're going to do. Stone anvil actually would be nice because it allows for better stuff. The stone furnace is also nice. Looks like we just need more stone though, which is easy enough. So what we do is we go through here and we craft, it looks like we found an enemy. They seem a little easy. I don't know why things are in twelfths. Like, that's just kind of weird. You know, you could do tenths, you could do just whole units, but doing it to the nearest twelfth just seems weird. Personally, I'd probably stick to whole units and have it be, you know, randomly. Sometimes you may not get anything or, you know, get fewer or something like that. We have these coins, which I don't know what we do with at all. So hopefully we have enough stone here. Let's see. Let's go back to our workbench. And we can get an anvil. And we can get a furnace, maybe? We need something that we don't have. Maybe it's the tree. Let's go ahead and get the anvil so we can get a proper axe. And then I think this will auto-select, yes. Even with the proper axe, it still takes a long time. Chopping down a tree is no joke. Pine oak. Got some oak wood, some just a lot of random stuff. That's weird. Okay. So we got some torches now, so we can get a stone furnace. Okay, 
So we have kind of the basic set of tools. Now I do want to get a pickaxe very soon. Thank you. Maybe a sword? Looks like it just needs some stone. See how much better this pickaxe is? Okay. I don't know what any of this other stuff is, but let's see what the sword does. Much, much better. Okay, so now we can go pick up some, say, tin ore, stuff like this. It used the animation, it even used the life, but it didn't seem to actually use the tool. Interesting. So then if I chop down this tree, how much... It's quicker. So we're going with the slow animation. Interesting. Well, let's go pick up our tools. We're gonna get a little bit further away. We'll pick up these workbenches though first. Kind of annoying it started using the pickaxe for that, which it didn't really help, but it used the health. I can understand why it did it, but still. We'll pick up a bunch of stones so we have plenty. We should have plenty of stone now, so we're going to start keeping an eye out for different metals. Stuff like that. Here we go. So this is copper. So copper and tin makes uh, bronze. So we're into the bronze age. Well, once we smelt some stuff. I should say that I'm quite confident that the dev will fix whatever the weird dependency issue that I had was. And occasionally, this stuff does happen, although it's very rare to actually be releasing a game with the latest and greatest uh, development tools. Because usually you use those and it takes you a little while to build the game and then you uh, eventually upgrade. Okay, we got some copper now. We have enough where we could probably smelt some stuff. So let's go ahead and put down our furnace maybe here. And we can see here in our build option, we can now do a bronze bar. So we got three bronze bars and then we've got, well, we have a lot of tin. But we need more copper. It's kind of the opposite of reality. Reality copper is a lot easier to find than tin. But that's okay. That's on Earth. That's likely to be in the solar system because copper is a lighter uh, metal, and there tends to be more of lighter metals in the universe. So, we'll still take the tin. We just get more excited over the copper. Looks like our pickaxe is going to run out soon. It'd be nice if we could upgrade to a bronze pickaxe, but I don't think we're going to have enough. So we're just going to have to replace it with another stone one.
Never actually gotten hit by these guys. We have what looks like a food bar counting down. I don't know what that is at all. Okay, this is more copper, so we'll go ahead and take it. Yep, yeah, we lost our pickaxe, so now we're just picking the stuff up by hand. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up shop here for a little while. Now, the way these machines work, it's best to widely space them. So five, that's actually quite a bit. We're gonna get one full bar of copper because reasons. But that's not terrible. All right, can we make a bronze anvil? Hmm. Do a basic cave entrance. Let's go ahead and build one of those. We'll plop it here and go visit the cave, see what's down there. Uh, we'll need some torches if we're gonna go do that. We don't have a lot of wood, it looks. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and get another stone pickaxe so we can keep chopping away at that. Yeah, see how dark it is down here? But there's tons of copper on the plus side. And it looks like some tin too. So far nothing too scary other than the dark. Oh fine, we'll put you down and then we're going to just mine all this out, and then we'll go back to the surface so we can figure out how to get more uh, torches. Probably need some wood. Looks like we got some trees down here. We'll chop them. Hopefully this will be enough. Boy, playing this is making me tempted to play a game like CDDA. I haven't played that for a long time. Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. It's an open source free game. It's really good though. Yeah, there we go. We just needed a bunch of stuff. So now we got a bunch of torches. Go ahead and keep going down and see what there is down here. Caves often have a, well, I say this as if I played the game much. I have not. This will be maybe an hour of play after this video is done. Which I do have a hard time and this is probably the only video I'm going to show at this point in time of the game because it's still really early. But it's got some promise. Wait, 
Wait, what is up with that guy? Uh oh. Okay. Slime ball, stone. Some hit points. Interesting. Can't quite tell if this is. No, that's just stone. Okay. Looks like just plant matter. Got two of them now. They do hurt. Hmm. Let's wait until he jumps. Okay, we got him that time. Woo! Those guys are nasty. We got another one, uh oh. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Okay, let's try to get close enough to... Come on. Jump, jump, jump. Okay. Good. Okay. Well, that's that for now. Hmm. And we have died. Well... I mean, there's a little bit more to the game, but I think you guys get the idea here. Uh, we'd have to go up and find our stuff. I didn't realize there would be critters that were that dangerous. Luckily, we just went straight up. There's some different biomes you can do. You can get different things like gold. Oh, we have our stuff at least. That's a relief. We just don't have what we had set down, but that's not that big of a deal. Nothing a little bit of stone won't fix. Getting to be nighttime, which is super dark in this game. We'll keep going a little bit more, I suppose. <clears throat> you can't sleep through the night either, unfortunately. see how dark it is it's slightly lighter than the cave but not much <clears throat> I don't think we're gonna find our stuff including that cave entrance I don't really like the pattern of the light. I mean, it's kind of cool, but just, you know, having a little bubble around you and then the gradually fading off could be kind of cool. But... Not a huge fan of it as it is. I don't know how we would ever find our little site again, though. That's the problem.
You didn't leave any breadcrumbs to find it. So we did kind of dig along the way, so if we see a spot that doesn't have a lot of valuable minerals, then there's a decent chance it could be there. Are there any tips or anything? Well, let's just abandon this. We're going to just get our stuff again. We can rebuild everything. It's not a big deal. Okay. So what do we need? We need a... Let's go with a stone workbench. We'll get a stone furnace, and a stone anvil, and a stone bed. So now if we die, we will spawn here, which is kind of nice. Uh-oh, we're about out of this. Yeah, I think there's a bug where it doesn't actually switch to the thing. So that was sand. Okay, we could do a bronze anvil. Except for we've used too much bronze. So can we make more bronze? Probably. Okay, let's see what we can do with the bronze anvil. Hmm. Doesn't look like much more than what we could do. With just our stone anvil, interestingly enough, okay. Well, we'll take all of the bars. Doesn't seem to be much we can do. So let's go ahead and make a cave entrance. Is that an anvil thing? Yeah. And then let's make a bunch of torches. Really? All right, whatever. Let me pick you up. Let's try putting you down maybe here. Doesn't seem to be caves here. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Let's just pick you up, I guess. It's obvious there's not much cave stuff around here. So let's go ahead and pick up all of our tools. And then we're going to go for an adventure.
Gosh, how many times do I say I'm going to end the video and then I just keep going? I think that's a YouTuber thing though for playing games. Okay, this is different kind of terrain. Let's try our cave entrance here. Mushrooms. Okay. No idea what those will do. Let's head out and then let's put our bed up here. Oops, let's sleep in the bed real quick just to make sure. stuff up. Just a lot of copper. But that's good because we need a lot of copper. I think in the Bronze Age, the access to tin was very rare and that uh, led to a very extensive trade network actually because they needed that tin to do everything in their society so they were fairly advanced but they were very very reliant on tin seem to be able to get in this tile. We've done it before. There's clearly nothing there. Oh! Oh! You can literally just dig holes here. So if I want to go through to here, I can just dig through a hole. Hmm. Uh oh, there's my favorite rock slime. Kind of annoying it has to be too wide. So like that's all that is is a rock slime. Wait until he jumps. Just trying to confuse him. There's another one. Rock slimes are nasty. Wait, what's that thing? Don't know what that was. Nasty is what it was. Tin ore. Interesting. Nighttime. So we got a bunch of copper. Let's take the tin we've got here. I 
Let's see if there's anything we can do with those red mushrooms real quick. Oh, this is the iron. Interesting. Let's go ahead and finish that off. So we'll put down, hmm, the workbench. We'll put down the bronze anvil, the furnace. So let's see, some stuff we can't build yet. Okay. Could build the stone bow, that sounds absolutely hideous. Is that iron maybe? Can we smelt that iron that we got? Okay, we can do a bronze furnace now. Hmm. What does that do? It does seem to have some new options. Okay, well. I think this is good enough. You guys get the gist of the game. Um, it's kind of fun and I do look forward to seeing what happens in the future with this. There's definitely a lot of little bugs and not a ton to really do so far it seems. But um, I do like it as a whole. It's got some promise. Thank you guys so much for everything. Let me know whatever questions or comments you guys have. Until next time, keep on tracking. Take care. We will see you then. Bye bye.